Oh, happy oh, Halloween oh, Day. Oh, yeah, that was very annoying. Unhappy Christmas. Yeah, Ben, be quiet. Has to be on the desk. I found out some kids don't spend their time doing what they're supposed to. So I have to see the screen while it's on. You try to play cool magic. You can go to the actual thing and try to help you. Out. Lucas, why are you trying to play cool magic? I'll watch. Uh, I'll watch. I'll watch. Uh, and then you have to put both your knees between the bars. <laughs> and then you have to turn the iPad so I can see it. There you go. Good luck, Lucas. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, have fun. Stay safe tonight. We'll talk more about that in a I moment. I will Got my one kid there who's not standing, but hopefully we'll see what we can do to help him out tomorrow. So for this one real quick, they are asking uh, classes to do a quick little just a thank you uh, for our principal thank and you. vice principal. So I'm just going to uh, have you guys just go like, thank you. Hooray. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do like a little, I don't know, but they just said so it. Like they were volunteering to have classes be on like a little thingy thing and I was like, well, you guys seem to like making noise. Soon, yeah. Yeah, one's old. There we go. So I'll do that. You should say thank you. No, so you're just going to We're going to do two. No, he's not in the video. He's going to be over there in his special place. We're going to do two, actually three short videos. I'll just keep it going. We're going to do one where you just go, thank you. And then we'll do one where you go, thank you, Mrs. Twasson. And then, thank you, Mr. Buss. Ready? So we'll do. Oh, yeah. Video. Why are we saying thank you? Thank you so much. Thank you. The first one is just the thank you. There we go. Hang on, I'm recording and. Thank you! Okay, the next one's going to be thank you, Mrs. Twasson. Thank you, Mrs. Twasson! Okay, and this one's thank you, Mrs. Buss. Thank you, Mr. Buss! Goodness, you didn't put that in the video. I wish I put it in the video. Yeah, hurry the fuck up and like make believe you. Oh, it's your address. Ooh, it is. So again, if you are a kid that comes by tonight, I'll look forward to seeing you from there. If you're worried about rain, it's supposed to be stopped by the time you guys go out trick or treating. Plus, if you come into my place, you're inside for a few minutes. Well, not inside my house. You're just inside the garage. Don't get too excited. Hi, what's up, frowny face? Aren't you doxing yourself by putting your address up there and recording it and posting it to YouTube? Yes, for all the ones of people who watch this. Yeah, uh, nice. There's like yeah, 80 people who are subscribed. What is it on YouTube? Yes. Mr. Bobby on YouTube sounds like a number. Sure. Oh, we already had the phone out ready to go. Oh, can yeah, I take a picture of it? Is that a cellular device I see? Can I also take a picture of it? Quickly, you special light. I'm so bougie. I'm going to switch. Put your phone away. I'm taking a picture. Oh my gosh, Ben, you have your phone out? Oh my gosh. Ben, are you playing Rose? Oh, I took a picture. Oh my gosh. I can't play Rose. My internet's terrible. You took a picture of Lucas. Mr. Brogan, can I take a picture of Lucas? My daughter, who's a senior in high school this year, decided to dress up for school and wear like she made her own little 60s costume thing. And I thought it was all adorable this morning, so I took a picture of her to brag. She even made like a little poopy hair thing that went on. And then she got to school, and apparently kids were harassing her and they're like making fun of her. And I was like, what? I'm like, that thing is awesome. Henry? How can it be 60s if it's. It's 124. I apologize for calling it. I thought it was 2037. Then, let's see, as far as we get into things from there, we'll get to, ah, again, those of you who want to do a listening thing, uh, the Outsiders page where you can find all the information and the readouts. I have not checked the YouTube links yet, but, I mean, I did last year, but I don't know if they've killed any of them, but I'm hoping they all work. I mean, worst case scenario, you can just do what I do, which is going into YouTube and just typing Outsiders Audio book chapter three and you can find it that way and then i just try to save you a step by making the links there so this part where we have outsiders page 67 due friday here's the problem friday's tomorrow and i'm not sure how much kids have been paying attention i'm aware even though it's been up there on the screen every day this week wednesday it was up there tuesday it was up there 
Monday it was up there where I've been trying to give you guys the lead up to all of this to Wait, let you so guys know. Which oh. means the fact that we would have the quiz tomorrow, which covers all the way up to page I put 74, it's actually page 67. I apologize on that one. I was off on my counting. And so again, it's been on Canvas all of this week also, but then talking to people, apparently I had kids who were confused that there was a quiz coming up tomorrow. Here's where the problem comes in. Today's Halloween. Yeah. And I don't hate you, and no, I'm not an idiot. Yeah. I realize most of you are probably not going to have time to read tonight because you are going to be going around and trick-or-treating, and then after you trick-or-treat, you're probably going to be hyped up on sugar and drooling all over yourself. <laughs> so the chances of you actually taking time to read tonight for this book are not super strong. Again, I'm aware of all of this. So <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking about doing. Because I don't hate you, Wait, you don't? yet, what I am looking at doing is possibly moving the quiz Ooh. to Monday. Now, I'm aware, I think we'll get close enough today that you'll probably only have like 10 pages left to read, but yeah. those 10 pages would probably still be a lot that we'd have to get through, and I don't think you'd necessarily read. Plus, I like this book. I think it's fun. And I know a lot of you guys don't like to read, and I would much rather you get a chance to enjoy this book rather than force it upon you. But if you guys aren't going to read anyway, there's no point in me pushing the quiz back. Because if you're going to fail it, why bother pushing it till Monday and we can just fail it tomorrow. No. So here's where actions speak louder than words, like the word no. And here we get to find out how well we go through class today. So you will convince me whether we shall push quiz to Monday or keep it for tomorrow. If I push it to Monday, that means tomorrow you would have time to read and then finish the homework and stuff like that. I would not be reading to you tomorrow. You would be reading on your own getting up to that end of chapter 4. For some of you going on past that because chapter 4 ends with kind of a big thing happening. Caleb. No. Well, technically, Hallow's Eve is tonight, and that's the whole point. That's why it's called Halloween, is because it's all, all Saints' Night, but that's the story for another day. Henry, remember earlier when I called on you? Yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake. So, does that help you guys out as far as what we're going to be getting through for today? Right. So, hopefully, I will let you know by end of class, and I'm hoping to be able to push it, and we'll see what happens from there. Again, I'd rather you enjoy it rather than have to push through it while you're all hyped up on sugar. Well, we're Will? Is character connection is the highlight thing? Yeah. That's what I'm going to talk about next. Ben? I think you should have called on Henry. Yeah. Again. Ben, remember when I called on you? It's a mistake. Uh huh. Yeah. So, as far as the character connections that Will brought up, this is the homeworky thing. So, again, this is due Tuesday. It's not hard, it is time consuming. Because it's requiring you to write out like 10 to 20 sentences or so because you're going to be going through and giving me information. For most of you, that is not a blink and done thing. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's why I gave you a week to work on it. So, those of you who have not gotten it done, I'm not expecting you to work on it tonight. I will, if we push back the quiz, then you can probably work on it tomorrow and we can go from there. Also, with this, if you have already found your 10 things that you have highlighted, you can stop highlighting in the book. Ooh, I'm yes. perfectly fine with that. I would recommend going to like 12 highlighted things just because there's a chance when you start writing them up and you get to one of them, you're like, yeah, this one was crap. Why did I highlight it? Then you might not want to use that one. So having a couple backup ones might make life easier on you. Once you're done highlighting, just kick back and listen. It's kind of a fun book. As we go through it, I'm perfectly fine with you just listening to what we go through and trying to enjoy it. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for with all this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, are we allowed to use more than one example on one page for this homework, or do we have to do each a different page? Oh, no, you can have more. Sometimes you have good pages that have more than one thing on there. That's fine. So if you have, like, uh, more than one on page five, that's fine. Now, if all ten of yours come from page two, we may have an issue. That tells me we probably didn't pay very much attention past page two. But if you have more than one that connects to a page, that's fine. Again, example things on there. Speak.
speaking of example things, let's give you guys a chance to give me example things. So we're going to see what things are in your heart. You're going to tell me, Paige, what it is you highlighted, and then again, how it connects to you in some way. Hopefully, I don't have to reply with, I like knives. But we'll see how much detail you put into things from there. Henry, are you volunteering so you get the chance to talk? How about that, Henry? Would you like to go, Henry? I would hate to rob you of the chance to talk. That would be awful. What page, Henry? Five. Page five. What did you highlight? Cut all that long greasy hair because I cut off all my hair. And now I'm kind of bald. Did you used to have longer hair? Yes. Yeah, he used to have like long hair. It, oh, it, it went up to the eyes. I can dig that. All right, now I've learned. That would make a connection. He doesn't like good. knives. He do I don't like knives as much. <clears throat> Amelia! What page? Pages 1 and the top of 2. It says, I like to watch movies on Mr. I, like, I also agree with that because my, my siblings always annoy me when I try to watch shows and I get annoyed at them a lot. So actually, a quick question for you guys. Going off that, by the way, I don't like knives. Do you guys actually watch TV? Yes. Like yes. on a TV where it's not like Netflix or yes. it's not like you streaming a thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just wasn't sure how many kids actually, because like my own kids don't watch TV unless like they're sitting with my wife watching a thing. When you'd mentioned the TV thing, I was like, do kids watch TV anymore? But apparently some kids do. I was just checking. Caleb? I normally stream TV shows except at hotels. They don't have streaming things. But they have a whole lot of live TV. That they do. So I watch live TV. No. I, I usually watch it. Watch it. Hatley? Um, an example is the... Page. Um, 30, um... Did you say 30? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, um, what is it? I don't know. Marsha? So, yeah. So that we can go away from a pretty good girl. Like, even if something has, like, someone's being annoying and, like, it gives me something, I'm a freebie and we'll take it. <laughs> Like buying things. So you're not going to pass up that free Coke on that thing? No. no we're not. Speaking of which, you said you wanted to buy things. Did you want, I have uh, goldfish, I have the cheesy crackers, and I have the gold bars. Good Billy, we're back now. So when Derry said he was to kill me if I got in trouble with the police, my parents said that they would kill me if I got in trouble with the police because uh, my family not good around trouble. I like knives. <laughs> Have you, the fact that your parents felt the need to tell you this implies that they're a little worried about you, Billy, that they had the need to bring up that you shouldn't be getting in trouble with the police, but okay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. So is this because, much like Henry wanted a chance to talk, you want to do the same thing, Ben? A little bit. What you got, Ben? On page five, it says, that knife. Uh-huh. And um, my brother brought a, brought a pocket knife to school and said it was for self-protection. That doesn't sound so good. <laughs> oh, I like knives. knives. The parent, not this. I mean, I don't like that knife, but okay. Yeah. Evan? Um, I like on, well, on page 29, it says there's nothing wrong with throwing a few punches, and sometimes I just like to punch something. Oh, yeah. I like Some things or like someone? No! It can be a person, like and it can be an object. So just metal, checking. A metal rod? I think that's when it's a face. No Did you say metal rock? Metal rod. Okay. Metal rod. Do you like, Ava? Ava? Go ahead. On page 23, it says I might have guessed you were brothers, you look alike. That's me and my mom. We both have brown hair, and I got most of me from her. Your brother? Oh, you oh, Caroline? On page 74, yes, I read that part I had last night. Uh huh. Um, it says, uh, it says, I'm 14, my brother. <laughs> my like I like knives. I like knives. You guys brother, beat me to it. <laughs> my brother is pony boy confirmed. Yeah. Yes, that works for me. Abby? 
On page 23, I highlighted you don't look old enough to be going to high school. A lot of people said that to my sister when she was going to high school, and I think we share that in common. She sophomore now? High school? Uh, junior. <laughs> junior. Oh. Yes. I highlighted a haircut because one time I gave myself a custom haircut. I like that. Did you give yourself bangs? I don't know what I did. I think I cut a huge chunk of hair, like this much hair. Uh, I just, it was right before I was going somewhere and I thought I wasn't ready, so I went like that. And my dad was like, What did you do? I, yeah, that's why. And then he gave you a bus cut? One of them. No! They didn't, they didn't hinder your hair? What? They didn't hinder your hair? I don't know. I guess I just grew it out. Yeah. That was when I was like four. When my oldest daughter was in junior high, she cut her own bangs, where she pulled her hair down and cut it, but she did it in the mirror. And when she did it, she was looking at it, and so she cut it like diagonal, so that when she did it, and then she also pulled it down, so when she let go, her bangs like shot all the way up her head, and then was at an angle. <laughs> the best picture ever. Um, if you're a guy, that probably means nothing to you, but if you're a girl, if you can imagine, she had to go through months of junior high looking like that. Oh, you were saying until like last week. Bella! I didn't really haircut, because I don't know where it is, but if I did, um, then I would have said that I gave my brother a haircut, and then um, his hair looked really messed up. It was like three years ago or something. And then right you know, we could just one. ask Eden what page that was because she like highlighted it. I like nine. Five. Okay. There you go. Well, um, I gave my brother a haircut, and then my parents were like, "What happened to your hair?" And then my brother ratted me out, and then my parents, I told him that I didn't do it, and my parents found the hair in my room, and then I got in trouble. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So, well done so far. We have much fewer people who like knives. I've already called on you for punching of the steel rocks. He has another one. I know, I was ignoring him though. I know, he just likes to talk. And then from there, I can't see your iPad, Lucas. I'm so confused. He's playing cool back Why are you playing cool back Let's see. Quick review. Uh, ahead. This is where they're leaving and they're heading home. We have them all doing the talky thing. And then we have the oh, flirty rizzy bits from there. Uh, uh, We're still going to have a little bit of flirty rizzy bits Elric. coming up. No. Yes. Yeah, I love we got that the, stuff. I like how we went from the flirty oh, bits okay. to the flighty bits. Oh, 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 no. So yeah. who is it that likes the Beatles? The so 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 Who is it that the, what do you call the other people? The Greasers. The Greasers. Who do the Greasers like? That's a soap. Oh, Elvis. 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 And then as they're walking home, oh, I forgot. I did find the picture of oh, Mickey Mouse. I had. No. And so He's that ugly. was him being Don't all the Are you talking about the kid or the horse? We're going to get copyrighted. Where does the blue Mustang come in again? Oh, you're driving past them. Oh, past them. Oh, past them. Oh, oh, and then it's going to come back here. The girl oh, and the girl's boyfriend. One of their boyfriends beat up Charlie. Since we did kind of officially talk about it, I should probably... Oh. They're going to have a scene coming up where they're going to talk about a switchblade again. Yes. And since we mentioned I'm earlier about I Like Knives, do you know what a switchblade is? So, if you're unaware, you have one? I did. I brought one in for you guys. Happy Halloween! Uh, and so the way a switchblade. That was awesome. Stabbing kids is the best. I, mean, I know. I would never stab a kid. That You're not right. going to stab a kid. This is that Henry. I would definitely stab a kid. Why is John on the floor? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> that was cute. Can you see? The way a switchblade works, for those of you who want to do your stabbing of someone, yes. it has a handle with blade on the inside, and it has a little button you would hit. This one's just a fake stabby one. And then, yeah, and a little blade comes out, and you can go over and do your quick stabby stabbies. Yay! And then you hit the little blade, and or hit the little button, and it goes right back in. Um, they are 
you can actually, it used to be illegal to buy for a long time, Aww. but you can now buy them on this Yay! place called Amazon, and they can ship one right to your house if you need some. Or I gave her a memory that she'll have forever. And now every time someone pulls out a knife around Abby, she's going to get all twitchy. That's better than B points. I gave her a reason to go to therapy. That's like a win right there. Now, the problem with this type of knife is that Usually boys would carry them, and they would keep them in pockets, but boys would also tend to roughhouse, and it was all fun and games until yeah. your friend would come up and like, hi ya kick you in the leg, hitting the little button, and then, Doink! and then, then it wasn't so much fun. So, use your imagination. They switched to a different kind of knife, and so this one, instead of shooting straight out, it was called a rainbow blade, where it would come around this way. Is it real? It is. It's a shaving thing! And so on this one, it was a little bit different, and if you had this kind of knife, you didn't have to worry about your friend kicking you and stabbing, because it was in your pocket. It won't open up all the way. It would just get stuck, and then you would be safe along those lines. I don't know which type of switchblade they're talking about. And then I brought in another one. This is the not butterfly switchblade, but this is another one that kids kept asking about before, so I went out and got one. Are you on the Oh, This one again. Not that we want to give Abby more therapy, uh, but this one's not real in case it comes flying out of my hand and hits a kid. Although it is heavy as metal. Uh, this is actually called a practice blade. You can get this also on Amazon. And so the idea here is with the butterfly knives, it's the ones you'll see in the movies where you have to flip them around like that when you're trying to do a little thing. And they have practice knives because, as I found out, if it has an actual blade on the edge of it and you've not practiced with it, when you go to mug someone for the first time and it's there and you're like, give me your money, and you're like, yow, and you cut yourself and drop it, it's embarrassing. And then the guy runs away and you're like, no, come back, I need a statue. Uh, and it doesn't work nearly as well. So you get a practice one until you get like the little movements down and then you're good to go. It's not hard. He's a pro. You should use grass. I should. And then he can punch somebody in the and then he can die. So that is Switchblade that they're going to be talking about here in the book in just a moment. We're going to be having a red today, yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's keep it close. Let's get to it. No, we don't want to read as much on the book. Yeah, don't forget. Don't be lazy. Bottom of page 43, and we're getting to the stuff. So we got to... Okay, things were up all over. All right, okay. I know, said Tubit. I know, Tubit said with a good-natured grin, the chips are always down when it's our turn. But that's the way things are. Like it or lump it. Cherry and Marcia didn't say anything. And I guess they didn't know what to say. We had forgotten that they were there. Then the blue Mustang was coming down the street again more slowly. Well, Cherry said resignedly, They've spotted us. Uh -oh. The Mustang came to a halt beside us, and the two boys in the front seat got out. They were socials, all right. One had on a white shirt and a modest ski jacket. The other had a light yellow shirt and a wine-colored sweater. I looked at their clothes and realized for the first time that evening that all I had was a pair of jeans and Soda's old navy sweatshirt. Not Old Navy, as in at the company, but Old Navy, old as in Navy, like, as the blue know. color. Yeah, Old Navy colored sweatshirt. With the sleeves cut short, I swallowed. Tubit started to tuck in his shirt tail, but stopped himself in time. He just flicked up the collar of his black leather jacket and lit a cigarette. The socias didn't even seem to see us. Cherry, Marcia, listen to us. The handsome, black-haired soldier with a dark sweater began. Johnny was breathing heavily, and I noticed he was staring at the Sosha's hand. He was wearing three heavy rings. Three heavy rings. Thought I'd no hit that pretty well. Then. I looked quickly at Johnny, an idea dawning on me. 
I remembered that it was a blue Mustang that had pulled up beside the vacant lot and that Johnny's face had been cut up by someone wearing rings. Uh, so go along with that. What is it we can just figure out? This guy hurt Johnny! He's yeah, beat him up! Do you remember what Ooh. Pony Boy said, what Johnny said? He has a switchblade in his back pocket and he's gonna kill him if they ever jump him. And he's dating one of the girls. Uh-huh. Or Johnny. Or Johnny said, if anyone ever tries to do that to me again, I'd kill him. Well, let's see what happens. The Sosha's voice broke into my thoughts. Just because we got a little drunk last night. Cherry looked mad. A little? You call reeling and passing out in the streets a little? Bob, I told you, I am never going out with you while you're drinking, and I mean it. Too many things can happen while you're drunk. It's me or the booze. The other Sosh, a tall guy with a semi-beetle haircut, turned to Marsha. Uh, this is what semi-beetle means. It means that they had like floppy hair. At the time, that was sort of, I think we have kids in here, sort of like the beetle haircut. Billy's is sort of like that. Evans is sort of like that. Uh, yeah. Noah's is like that. Oh, even then, a lot of you guys have the same. Where at the time, um, most of the boys had really short hair. Like even Henry's hair would be considered a little long for what most of the socials were so wearing like at the time. Yeah, they would use like the buzz cuts and stuff like that. So beetle haircuts were like this new thing they were talking about. Ew. With a semi-beetle haircut turned to Marsha. Maybe. We know we, sorry, you know we don't get drunk very often. When she only gave him a cold stare, he got angry. And even if you're mad at us, there's no reason to go walk in the streets with these bums. Two-Bit took a long drag on his cigarette. Johnny slouched and hooked his thumbs in his pockets. I stiffened. We can look meaner than anything we want to. Looking tough comes in handy. Tuba put his elbow on Johnny's shoulder. Who you calling bums? Listen, Greaser, we got four more of us in the back seat. Then pity the back seat, Tuba said to the sky. If you're looking for a fight, Tuba cocked an eyebrow, but it only made him look more cool. You mean if I'm looking for a good jumping, you outnumber us so you'll give it to us? Well... He snatched up an empty bottle, busted off the end, and gave it to me, then reached in his back pocket and flipped out his switchblade. Try it, pal! I don't know if we have. Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. No! Cherry cried. Stop it! She looked at Bob. We'll ride home with you. Just, just wait a minute. Why? Tubit demanded. We ain't scared of them. Cherry shuddered. I can't stand in fights. I just... I can't stand him. I pulled her to one side. I couldn't use this, I said, dropping the pop bottle. I couldn't ever cut anyone. I had to tell her that because I'd seen her eyes when Tubit flicked out his switch. I know, she said quietly, but you better go with him. Hey, pony boy, I mean, if I see you in the hall at school or someplace and I don't say hi, it's not personal or anything, but yeah, I know. We couldn't let our parents see us with you all. You're a nice boy and everything. It's okay, I said, wishing I was dead and buried somewhere. Or at least I had a decent shirt. We aren't in the same class. Just don't forget that some of us watch the sunset too. She looked at me quickly. I could fall in love with Dallas Winston, she said. I hope I never see him again, or I will. She left me standing there with my mouth dropped open and the blue Mustang vroomed off. Uh, with Cherry on that one, sometimes girls like the bad boy, uh, and apparently Cherry is the girl that likes the bad boy because she's dating Bob, who apparently has issues. But then she was like, the only person I go out with aside from Bob is that guy who beats up children. Uh, and so whatever we think about Cherry, apparently she might have some issues. <clears throat> she left me standing there with my mouth dropped open and the blue Mustang vroomed off. We walked on home, mostly in silence. I wanted to ask Johnny if those were the same socials that had beaten him up, but I didn't mention it. Johnny never talked about it and he never said anything. Well, those were two good-looking girls if I ever saw any. Tubit yawned as we sat down on the curb at the vacant lot. He took a piece of paper out of his pocket and tore it up. What was that? Marsha's number? It was probably a phony one, too. I must have been out of my mind to ask for it. <laughs> but I think even I'm a little bit soused. 
So he had been drinking. Two bit was more. So two bit was smart. He knew the score. Y'all going home? No, not right now. I wanted to have another smoke and to watch the stars. I had to be in by twelve, but I thought I had plenty of time. I don't know why I handed you that busted bottle. Two bit said, getting to his feet. <laughs> You'd never use it. Maybe I would have. Where are you headed? I'm gonna go play a little snooker and hunt up a poker game. Maybe get rip roaring drunk. I don't know. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Johnny and I stretched out on our backs and looked at the stars. Oh, I was freezing. It was a cold night and all I had was that sweatshirt, but man, I could watch stars in sub zero weather. I saw Johnny's cigarette glowing in the dark and wondered vaguely what it was like inside a burning ember. By the way, foreshadowing. It was because we're greasers, Johnny said, and I knew he was talking about Cherry. We could have hurt her reputation. I reckon, I said, wondering if I ought to tell Johnny what she said about Dallas. Man, that was a tough car. Mustangs are tough. Big time socials, all right, I said, a nervous bitterness growing inside of me. It wasn't fair for the socials to have everything. We were as good as they were. It wasn't our fault we were greasers. I couldn't just take it or leave it like Tubit or ignore it and love life anyway like Soda Pop or harden myself beyond caring like Dally or actually enjoy it like Tim Shepard. I felt tension growing inside of me. I knew something had to happen or I'd explode. I can't take much more, Johnny spoke my own feelings. I'm going to kill myself or something. Don't. I said, sitting up in alarm. You can't kill yourself, Johnny. Well, I won't, but I gotta do something. It seems like there's gotta be some place without greasers or socias with just, you know, people. Just plain, ordinary people. Out of the big towns, I said, lying back down. In the country. In the country. I love the country. So much so that I knew the class was gonna have to read about it on their own. Cause the dad class was gonna be over. I wanted to get to our first big deathy bit, but you're going to have to read deathy bit on your own. Yay! We have a deathy bit. I know. Don't talk about the deathy bit yet, but we have a deathy bit. I noticed this point. What is that? That's called a teaser about something that's going to happen coming up. Okay, so it's like... I'm just giving you a little teaser. I will push quiz back to Monday. I am not going to read tomorrow. If you want to listen to audiobook, bring headphones. Otherwise, you'll get a chance to get stuff done then. Enjoy tonight.